Hello, 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 and welcome back to my channel. Today is Sweet Butter Shower Sunday, and I wanted to talk to you guys about my shower experience, me shampooing my hair, and we're going to moisturize and seal. So if you're interested in this video, please keep on watching. All right, guys, for real, I finally shampooed my hair today and I took a nice shower and I'm going to butter up my hair with some sweetness and I want to show you guys what I uh, use in the shower today. I know I'm going to do skincare on my uh, weight loss channel but I'm going to do a little bit of skincare on this channel too so whenever I feel like doing skincare it's going to be on both channels if I feel like it and if not just going to be on one channel at a time whatever I feel like doing but look here let me tell you something. Today's shower was with the Body Butter Coconut Scrub. Guys, let me tell you, when I have this in the shower, I always reach for it because I have like three other shower. Uh, this is a shower body buffing wash. So it's, it's a shower wash. You wash your body and stuff. And I have like three of them in my shower. And somehow I always reach for this one. But uh, this is a Body Butter Coconut Scrub. And guys... This smells so good, it's sweet, and it looks like, to me, look like vanilla ice cream with the beans in it. I don't know if you, you, you know, some people don't like that kind of stuff, look like bugs and stuff to them. But let's see if I can squeeze a little bit. Let me squeeze it, let me squeeze, 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 squeeze it! Squeeze! Oh, oh, look at that, oh yeah. Oh, oh I think I squeezed too much. But that's okay. And it's got like a, like a, oh my God, it's like a gummy, thing to it cleans to your body so well so lathery oh guys look at that oh what does this look like okay we're not gonna say it but anyway this is a really good sweet smell here and guys I use it uh with my loofah I have to wipe this off my hand because I didn't put too much on my hand but I lose I, I use it with my loofah um shower Thing like this right here so guys did you know that it was different type of loofahs loofah scrubbing brushes this one is firm uh, this this one kind of kind of like scrubs my body a little bit I like the handle because it's long and by me being a tall person it's kind of hard for me to reach my back if I use my hand I, can, I just can't reach around and wash my back with my hand and this is this has a firm scrub to it but my other shower loofah my that one's more softer and it's more for an uh, actual shower to you know to lather up and go real fast around your body but you're gonna feel a scrub with this one and yeah guys i take this and i and i scrub it against my uh my body and stuff and if you got balls you can take this loofah you can take this loofah 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 and go across your loofah balls and if you have booby balls, you can take this and go across your booby balls. You, you, you just gotta watch your nips though. You can't you can't go across the nips because your nips gonna get scratched off. Okay, so with this loofah and my one of my favorite shower uh, washes, man, this is a great combination. It is this is so lathery and so sweet, guys. Oh my god, this is really really nice. This is cheap too. This is less than five dollars. I want to say it's between two and four dollars. I got a lot of stuff going on here, but yeah, guys, this is what my sweet showers was, was like today. And then I finally shampooed my hair and detangled and, you know, all that good stuff. But I am going to moisturize and seal my hair with you guys tonight. Something I haven't done in a long time. You guys really like those kind of videos when I moisturize and seal. You get over there, a little trash. And so today's, today's, um... Hmm. Baby buttercream. I told you this was a butter Sunday, butter Sunday, sweet shower Sunday. I'm going to use Miss Jessie's baby, Miss Jessie's baby buttercream. This is the sweetest baby buttercream, period. Okay. This is like for if you want this, it makes your hair soft and sweet and all the other good stuff. So I'm going to use it as a moisturizer. And my hair has been. I've been out the shower for about maybe about maybe 30 or 40 minutes. So my hair might be a little dry. Oh whatever. You know, people got to think about saying, oh whatever. Whatever. And I'm going to seal 
this baby buttercream with this sweet goodness here this is the blue magic castor oil um i read the ingredients the other day i don't remember all of them but it does have beeswax in it beeswax in it and this is sweet too so i'm going to combine my moisturizer with this seal it with this and i am going to be so sweet on this sunday okay so i'm feeling good i told you guys when i take my shower and shampoo my hair i feel like singing yeah and yeah because i feel good all right so hopefully you just got out the shower too and we can be in this moment together and, oh so i did detangle already and stuff and let me see what i did i shampooed and i conditioned my hair and i also did a protein treatment and then I um, detangled my hair. I did all this out of, out, out of the shower. And I detangled my hair and everything. And I twisted it up. When I got in the shower, guys, it was a breeze. All I had to do was just take down these twists and just rinse through each one. How many do I have? Like six? I think I have six. One, two. Yeah, six big chunky twists. And I took them down one by one. Rinsed through. Retwisted. Hey, and I'm here. All right? So we're going to even talk about some split ends and stuff, too. Because you guys know I need a new... Uh, I need to trim. You probably say, well, Nancy, can we please get to the video? We're getting to the video. Don't play with me. Okay, we're getting to the video. And you know today's video is all about talking and dragging and stuff. But you guys like what I'm talking about. If not, I don't know what to tell you. You're on the wrong channel, girl. All right, all right, all right. So I'm not going to take a lot of time with um, putting this stuff in my hair. I'm going to go through it real breezy and real fast because I just don't feel like, you know, going through. I don't want to, I don't want to take a lot of time doing my hair today. So I got some clamps. I got two clampy poos, one clampy poo, two clampy poos. I get these clamps from Sally's. You guys always ask about these, but I get them from Sally's. You see what I was about to do? I was about to put this clamp in my hair like I always do. Yeah, there goes one clamp. And normally I start from the back, so let's, let's do something different. Let's start in the front. So I'm gonna clamp these to get these out the way. Let me take these down. I'm going to oil my scalp too. So this is what the baby buttercream by Miss Jessie's look like, guys. Mm -hmm. It's so buttery. And it's so sweet, girl. Mm. I can't wait to see what this smells like with my uh, Blue Magic Castor Oil. That should be a nice combination of smell. Smell goods. So I am going to put... It's moisturizing in my hair like this. So, guys, let's talk about these split ends right quick. You guys want to know how, how you know if you have um, split ends? There are different ways to find out if you have them just by texture. You know, you, you can feel them. They feel rough and scraggling. If they're splayed, meaning like this, you know, a lot of people say, hey, Nancy, what is splay? That's a strange word. I've never heard that word before. People actually laugh when I say splay, which I don't understand. But um, maybe because it's a different kind of word for most people. And yeah, guys, uh, another way, if you can see through these ends, baby, if you can see through them, that's another way to, to tell if you need your ends trimmed. If you have snags when you try to comb your hair, like today I was trying to comb through my hair. I kept getting caught at the end. Also, I haven't combed my hair in like over six weeks and that played a major part too. And um, also, if you um, twist and braid your hair and you don't have a coil at the end, I'm gonna show you. I'm not gonna. I know I'm not gonna have a coil. And usually, after I do a protein treatment, when I braid or twist my hair to the end, my hair coils right up real tight. Real tight. This is not gonna do that. I already. I can tell you that right now. Okay. So we're going to just to put a little, just a little grease on the scalp. Not much. I'm not gonna do a lot. We're just, just going to go through it real fast. On this sweet Sunday, girl. It don't take long to grease your scalp anymore. It used to take me so long. I said, like, why does it take you so long? Just, you know, just just go through your hair, girl. You ain't got to be all neat and professional. I used to be so prime and prim. Prime and, you know, prim and proper and doing all these little special techniques with my hair. When I first started my journey, guys, I go through this, I go through my hair so fast now. 
So I'm adding some oil, making sure I get those ends real good. Okay. And I'm just gonna twist real fast, cause we ain't got time. And I'm not gonna re-mist my hair with water like I normally do. Cause I've, I've had enough of water today. But I must say I got through with my hair like as far as detangling and shampooing and conditioning with both conditioners, the protein and the moisturizing conditioner. I got finished like in an hour and 15 minutes. So that's pretty good for me. Then I had to get in the shower and rinse it out though. But yeah, that's pretty good for me. Take some more oil and put on these ends. So we're going we're gonna to see if these ends coil up. I'm going to get this stuff off my hands. These ends feel horrible too. So the last time I had a trim was... 2019 at uh, in April. How often do I trim my ends? Usually just like once a year. It used to be, it used to be a little bit more often. So see how limp and weak my ends are here. It should coil up a little bit more. Now the front of my hair has a straighter texture, so it doesn't coil up like the back and sides, but it it should coil up a little bit more than this. Okay, so yeah, I trim my ends um, once a year. Why do I do that? Uh, most of it's because of laziness and dread, but uh, for the most part, I don't need my ends trimmed that often because I don't do a lot to it. I don't add a lot of heat and comb and stuff like that to my hair. So the less you do to your hair, the less often you have to trim and the more length of tension you have. All right, so we got that one little boop boop out the way. And we're gonna go on over here. All right. So what's the purpose of trimming your ends? Oh, guys, 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 guys. The purpose of, look at these ends here. See that right here? I don't know if you can see. Let's see if I can go this way. Oh, that needs to go from here on down. The purpose of trimming your ends is actually, you know, to keep your, we all know is to keep your hair healthy and keep it um actually your ends get kind of dry and old and they break off and be brittle and stuff and you don't want those ends to split up your up, up your hair shaft and do the rest of your healthy hair like that so you want to you know preserve preserve as much health to your hair as, mu as much as possible so getting rid of the ends keep your hair healthy plus your hair just looks a whole lot better it thrives better it shines better it's just a better look and they just don't look good with the healthy hair. The ends of your hair look kind of shabby and puffy and crazy looking. And then the rest of your hair looking all nice and, you know, all nice and um, shiny and lubricant and well moisturized. And you get to the ends, it's like, oh boy. So, so how often should you trim your ends? Well, it's up to your discretion. You trim your ends as often as you want to. I think 12, 12 times a year is a lot. You don't need to, if you're trying to retain length, 12 times a year is a lot. For, that's my opinion though. Uh, some people do dusting. What's the difference between dusting and um, trimming your hair with scissors? Well, trimming your hair like regular. Dusting is when they take some scissors and you just, you continuously always stay on top of the split ends that sticks out your hair shaft. And you don't have to trim your hair like I do. So, cause when I get my hair trimmed, or I kind of like get a cut like, so I'll be taking off like an inch. But I don't mind. That's the way I, I do it. I don't, I don't cut my hair, trim my hair that often. So I know I have to get a good cut. But with dusting, you save a whole lot of more hair length. But you just got to stay on top of it more often. So the less often you trim, the more you have to cut off. The more you trim, the less you have to cut off. And the more you dust, huh, you ain't got to trim off hardly nothing. Because you're staying on it. It's like maintenance. You're maintaining the health of your hair all year round. Trimming? No. I don't think... If your hair is in good condition, I don't think trimming your hair all year round is necessary. Unless it's just split up. Okay? So then I put... I don't know if I... Uh, oh. I don't think I put the cream on. Or did I? But we're just going to go backwards. We're going to do the... We're just going to put the uh, oil on first and then put the cream on second. Is there a rule? No. LCO, LOC, it's all the same, girl. All the same. Although I'm not using liquid. Okay. I'm not using liquid because my hair is already damp. 
So that's the liquid I'm going to use. That's what the L means. The C means cream. So we're using the baby butter cream. And the O, uh, the o means oil. So I'm using the Blue Magic Hair Grease. You can use whatever favorite oil you like. You can use whatever liquid you like. If you want to use a leave-in conditioner, a liquid leave-in conditioner as your, um, as your L. Cool. Do what you want, girl. And you can use any cream you like. You want to use cream um, leave-in conditioner as your C. Do what you want. It's your regimen. You can figure out what works best for you. All right, so we get into these ends. See, it's coiling up, but if it was trimmed, oh boy, that coil would be so much tighter. Mm -hmm. So, I got to get these ends trimmed off my hair. I'm aiming for this month. Today is February 9th, so maybe in two weeks or so. This month. I don't care if it's on the 29th, because you know this month has 29 months, <laughs> 29 days in it, because it's leap year, guys. Mm-hmm. All right, so moving right along. Now, here goes the kinkier part of my hair. So with this part of my hair, I have to go a little bit heavier with my cream. Because this is a different texture and it's, a, um, I don't know, it just gets drier more so than my crown. So we're going to put this cream on pretty, pretty good and thick. I may have to break this down to two sections. So I can make sure I get all of those ends. Yep, yep, yep. So I'm just going to take my fingers, separate it like this. You don't need a comb. You don't always need a comb, guys. Especially when you want to move through your hair pretty quickly. If your hair is already detangled and stuff, it's manageable. You don't need no comb. Shoot, just, just go on, swing on through it, girl. Go on, swing on through. With your fingers. Your fingers are your best friends when it comes to your natural hair. So we're going to put a little grease on top and all the scalp. Because we just did the cream. And guys, I need to really start shampooing my hair more often. I have my slip ups though. <laughs> Put a little bit more cream on the ends here because these ends are drier. So we're gonna see how these ends coil up. And I'm not gonna really twist my hair super tight because I don't want my hair to start locking up with all this goodness in here. Because sometimes if you twist too tight, and especially if you don't detangle your hair within two weeks, you are going to have some serious, serious matted hair that wants to lock up quicker. Because our hair thinks we, it's supposed to lock up. Mm -hmm. Like it has a brain or something. Brain. My hair has a brain. Maybe I don't have a brain. Alright, so here goes the, the little coiled end. Right there. So this is what, like, uh, February, March, April. This is 10 months. My ends are really not that bad. Not that bad. They're all bad, though, but they ain't that bad. And it's because I don't really do much to my hair. My ends are always mainly protected from doing a lot of stuff. How often do I add heat to my hair? So it's usually no more than two to three times a year. And I actually have it. Have I had, I had some heat in my hair, but I haven't, I haven't flat ironed it since April of last year. Like I said, I go a little bit heavier back here. This hair dries out a little bit more, and it's more delicate back here. Get that back. Pretty good. And I'm making sure I'm getting those ends too, guys. That's what's, what's really important because the ends are the weakest part of the hair. They're the oldest part of the hair. They're the driest part of the hair. They need extra attention, especially when you need your ends trimmed. So, 
I'm going to go through with it with some oil on my scalp. Castor oil. Quickly. You ain't got to do all this fancy stuff. See, when your hair grows the length that you want it to be, you ain't got to do all this stuff no more you did when you was in, when you in the beginning. Simplify, baby. Simplify. All you're doing is maintaining what you grew. What you what you retain all the all those years. You ain't gotta be doing all them special effects and all the other stuff they be doing. Mm-hmm. You can do a lot to your hair and it still ain't gonna really do nothing. You can do less is more. I'll just say that. Less is more when it gets to your desired length. So I'm just gonna make this one great big chunky twist. Make sure I get those ends with my oil. Greasy baby style. That's another way I can feel that I need my ends trimmed because I can feel like the, see, these uh, ends be kind of like clinging and catching on to my hands. Whereas if they're not on there, they won't be doing this stuff here. All right, guys, we finished with this side of my head, so we only got three more to go. Let's look at these ends before I go to the other side. See, you shouldn't be doing all this. This long, stringy stuff here. Mm, okay. All right, so we're finished, guys. Six to six. Oh, no, I broke it down, so I got four now. I need to do something with this little hair right here. Oops. I forgot this little section here. So let me use, let me use my Demons brush to uh, comb this out. Well, brush it out rather. So what am I gonna do with this little piece right here? I'm just gonna twist it back here with the um, other big chunky twist. Cause who got time to be taking down a twist and retwisting everything? I don't. But I gotta make sure I take them down, take this twist down um, real soon, like within two weeks or so, two weeks or so, so that that won't lock into that big twist. All right guys, so I took off my robe so I can get to the other side because my robe was getting messed up with this makeup on. Mm-hmm. And I don't want my robe to get any messed up um, from the makeup. And we're just gonna move on and pretend like we still got the robe on. Okay, okay, we still got the robe on. All right, so we're gonna start from the front today on this side as well. You know, you be trying to be so cute on YouTube, but guys, I'm telling you, that's not how we really do our hair for real, being cute, all that makeup and stuff. All right. But I do it, I put my makeup on sometimes when I do my hair. So I, when I look at myself on film, when I, when I am um, editing, I'm like, oh, you are so ugly. Why didn't you put some makeup on? So I kind of like do it for myself. But some days y'all know I will get on here, dark rings around my eyes and everything and just be just as normal as possible. Okay. So I'm putting a little oil up here and I'm gonna make sure I go through my hair once I finish. We're gonna breathe through this pretty fast. So I got the cream right here, right here. Grease on the scalp with my fingers. Doesn't take that long to do this. Just go and do it. So I'm gonna make sure I get these ends a little bit more because they feel dry and they are needing a trim. So we wanna preserve them as much as possible so they won't split up as much until we get in that shop and get those ends trimmed. The looser you twist your hair, the more you ain't gotta go around and around and around too. That's, what, that's one thing I've noticed. Instead of twisting them so tight, you steady, taking a little bit more time. Whereas if you twist them loose, you'll be done faster. 
Ah, little in. Little in. Okay, there. All right, guys, so we're on our last one. Yay! We're on our last one. So we're gonna put on the cream. The butter, this is the butter, guys. This is the butter, this is the sweet Sunday butter. Sometimes I do separate the uh, hair so that I can get in between those sections pretty good. So we're gonna go a little bit heavier because this is my most delicate spot back here. I'm wondering should I break this down into two? Probably should. So I'm adding the hair grease now. I'm going to grease my scalp quickly. All right, guys, I think we're done. I think we are done. We are done. Should I break this down into two? Maybe I should break this down to two. Because I broke the other side down to two. I'm going to make sure that I get all the hair this time in this section. Loose twisting saves time. And it saves your hair from locking up too. Okay. I'm going to need some more oil on the ends. Maybe a little bit more cream, butter. We like butter. All right, guys. And the last one, put a little bit more cream back here on this section. And a little bit more. Did I go up back here? Oh, yeah. I think I did oil back here, but just in case I didn't. I think I did. All right, and I'm going to make sure I get those ends because they are shabby and I'll be done. Hope I don't have no makeup on my pajamas. Doesn't matter, I'm going to bed anyway, just like this. Uh-huh, if it's on my pajamas, it's just gonna have to be. All right, guys, so that is it as far as my twist. I'm going to go over my hair. Now, you know what, guys? I will say something about this uh, baby buttercream. It's not as juicy and as moisturizing as I'm used to. But that's okay. It might be because my hair is somewhat dry already. So I'm gonna put a little oil on top. So I can slow down some of the breakage. A lot of products, people think products just performs miracles it does help and assist but sometimes it just you gotta do like little extra stuff to protect your hair it can only do so much it's up to you to protect it as best as you can in the meantime in between time it's called maintenance if you maintain your hair and keep a nice little steady regimen going your hair will thrive guys as much as it can so it's good to get in between the twist so yeah i think we're done i think we're done mm -hmm. how you like my hair how you like me now mm. make sure i put some more cream too in between the twist I know you, some of you guys pr probably can't really handle a lot of heavy products. If you have hair like mine, heavier products work a whole lot better than light stuff. And you'll learn that eventually. When you realize your products are not staying in your hair and your hair is not staying moisturized and shiny, look, like, like, looking like you like it, you probably need to go with a heavier uh, product. To me... This is sort of heavy, but not heavy as I'm used to. This um, baby buttercream, but I like it and it's sweet. So yeah, the hairier the product, 
The more it helps with four type hair. Don't be afraid to put the products in your hair either. Don't put so much in there to where it takes six days to dry though. Or it may store locking your hair up. You don't want that much. But you'll find your comfort. Alright guys. So we are done. I hope you like this video. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Mwah. Hmm.